Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Well, hey, look, when I did my May, my May 2023 video, I left out the covered call video that I was going to show you. We're going to talk about UPS. It's a great video for anyone that's looking to find great entry points for buying a great stock and writing a covered call. This video right here is one that I absolutely love sending to my members because I've done the research. I do all the legwork for them. And I'll tell you what, I send it out to them. But here's the deal. I send it out to them as a trade idea. I, putting in all the legwork, usually do the trade. And that's exactly what I did. I'm going to show you the trade that I did. And uh, I'll give you a little spoiler alert. I ended up buying this option back, making almost all the profit. But what I talk about in this video is the setup, the covered call, and why I picked UPS right here, right now. And stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you what the members get for free. How the phone app works. Hey, look, I'll let him start the show. If you like what you heard today, bang that like button right now. Bang that like button. Let me know you like what I'm doing. Uh, we're talking about UPS and a trade that is 42 days. It's not my typical 30-day trade, but we're going to talk about it. It's UPS, and I had mentioned that this stock was trading in such a range. There was news all over the place with its competition and UPS. And I'll tell you what, I decided when it was trading lowest in its range, we were going to go ahead and take a position, then write a covered call. Now, a couple things about this trade that I want to make note. There's no ex-dividend date coming. There's no earnings coming. So we're in that sweet spot where typically there's no news that can really affect how a stock moves. That doesn't mean that there might not be any news, but that's what we want. We want to make sure we're writing covered calls during non-event months. And this would be one of them. So here's what I did. I let the members know why I like the 170 strike. Where UPS was trading was critical using support lines and where it's currently trending. I'm going to show you on the chart why I selected this moment in time. So what we did was this. When the stock was trading at 170.43, it was May 19th. I got $5.70 in premium, and we did this on three contracts or 300 shares. You could see the expiration date is the end of June, and it's 42 days. You could see the projected cash flow on these three 100 shares will be $1,710. Now that's going to work out to be a very sweet 3.34% cash on cash gain. And that's what we're looking for. I told you earlier in the video, that's what you're looking for, that 3.3% cash on cash gain. You could see that I went ahead and sold the at the money. In fact, some would say this is an in the money strike where the stock was trading at 170.43. I sold the 170. We're going to call it at the money. And that at the money strike would be a break even trade on the share. So I'm making all the profit, all this potential profit of $1,700 in the premium. Okay, so in the premium. So I uh, tell the members what the projected cash flow is, and I tell them what I did. We're using $51,000 for this trade, bought 300 shares at 170. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the chart as to why I did this and why I thought this was the perfect time to get involved with UPS. So here's UPS's trading range, and I'm going to blow this picture up so you can really see it. But I wanted you to see that it is UPS, and uh, you could see how it's trading. Look at this support right here that it breaks through. And I'll tell you, that support line has been rock solid. As you can see, once it breaks resistance and it's moving higher, Wall Street loved that support line. And as soon as the stock crashes, look where it fell to. Support. That's what we're looking for. That line right there was support. Now you say, John, it fell even further. Well, that was earnings and uh, there was some other bad news, but this is what I want you to see. Notice how it is now creating a new line of support. Is this thing crazy or what? Look at what it does. 
It breaks through resistance, so this becomes its line of support. We get some bad news. This becomes its line of support. And then we get some more bad news. This becomes its line of support. I just love how Wall Street finds a, a sweet spot and it'll buy the shares. That's what I love about using great S&P type companies. Wall Street always comes back to the great stocks. Even when they blow through what seems to be support, they find another line of support. Now, with that said, we are gonna talk about this current line of support. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this chart to really get a feel for it. Now, remember this trade was placed in the middle of May. So we're looking at how it's found support and it gets a little bit of a pop. And when it peels back, right? When it peels back to support, where does it fall to? it falls to what will look like a new line of support. So right here is when I said to the members we're buying shares and uh, note the 170 number is when this happens, right? So when it falls through, it hits my radar. Now it pops and look what it's doing. It's trading sideways and that's what we want. This is when it hits my radar, when it falls under support and once it finds support and it rallies and now we get this line of sideways trading, that's what we love. And sure enough, that's what I did. And then when it fell down to that new line of support, I loved it because it bounced off of it. So it's giving us every indication right here. It's going to bounce, bounce, bounce. And if we're lucky, it's going to keep bouncing just as it bounces up here, right? It's gonna do that here. Now remember, we use the 170 strike. So I'm not gonna profit from the shares. All I want this thing to do is literally bounce, bounce, and continue to bounce sideways to higher. This is a 42 day trade. I got $5.70 in premium. So if this works out, it's gonna use this line of support. I told members that's what we're going to look for. And that's what we did, the 170 strike. Now we have $5.70 of downside protection. This is where you're going to get a little more of information from this video. When we post this trade and we go ahead and decide to buy shares at the 170 mark and we get $5.70 in premium, if we wanted to use that premium for downside protection, meaning the stock falls and we're going to use that $5.70 as downside protection, meaning we bought the shares of 170, we're handed 570 in premium. Well, technically, what's our cost basis? It's not 170 anymore. We're now at around 164x and we're still break even. Now, this is the key thing here to watch. It has not traded at 164x in what seems to be years, okay? I know it was last year, but my point is, in a long time. So, 164 is a beautiful number because it's never traded there, even as it has tanked. Love the fact that we get that downside protection, basically getting the 164 X as our break even. The stock has never traded at 164X this year. And with it trading in this little tiny, little tiny window of near term upward movement, well, that makes me feel comfortable that I'm going to go ahead at 170, buy some shares, write the at the money strike, the 170 strike, pick up the 570, which gives us a 164X downside protection for which it's never traded. And that sets up me and my members for a very favorable first trade using UPS shares. Hey, look, up your game today. Join the membership. I give you one free month. Would absolutely love to welcome you aboard. Now, look, in the next video, I'm going to talk about a cash secure put trade that will absolutely up your game as it is the most favorable cash secure put trade that I've done in a long time. And I'm going to come back and share it with you. So I want you to subscribe to the channel. And hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Until that next video, be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. May all your covered calls be profitable. 
Hey, welcome back everyone. Hey, I want to talk to you about CRSR. You know, this is that uh, gaming company where they make accessories for the computer gaming world. Now, I played them way back here and uh, had some success with them. But as the rest of the market fell, you could see it fell as well. Now, with the market rebounding a little bit, just like every other stock, this thing seems to have found a bottom and it's kind of doing that dance like everything else. 